Hello, this is Franklin McMahon, MediaArtist.com, and we're going to look at Adobe Illustrator CS2. And we're going to just check out some of the new features. There's a lot to cover. Um, we're going to touch on a few of the more pertinent, important ones. So uh, just buckle up and we'll breeze through some of them. Um, the, the, to me, one of the biggest things is this little bar up here. This is a palette that changes um, control palette depending on what you're doing um, and what you have selected. So for example, I'm going to select this image and there's options to do a live trace. Um, I'm going to select this box and boom, you can select all different things like color and stroke and then text. You can go and change the text and you know, it's really important. This has been implemented in some of the other Adobe programs and I think it's really key because just about 80% of what you'll need is up in this bar. Now, as Photoshop and Illustrator and others have progressed, it's been kind of difficult with palettes and boxes and, you know, your screen can get very, very cluttered. But this makes it really, really easy and kind of brings it in line with some of the other programs Adobe's uh, using this in. And hopefully it'll be in all their programs and it'll be full featured. So 100% of everything is right up there. I can I can dream, can't I? And I think they'll do it because they're pretty smart, those Adobe people. Uh, another thing I love is these little underlined links. You can just click. That is, to me, very cool. Anything that has a link, go back to here. You can select it, and boom, right there. So very easy to use, and again, all of your tools are right up front. You know exactly where to get them. Um, another thing that's pretty important is workspace. You have different sizes for screens or different modes or different tools you want up. Uh, for example, I'm doing a training session right now and showing you guys what's what, and I wouldn't normally work in a window this small, but I have it, which is training, 800 by 600, a little bit less, but that allows me to kind of save this as a preset that I can go back and, you know, go into. You can actually go to manage workspaces and you'll have a list of all your different ones and create them and save them and again this is something that was done on a lot of Adobe programs and I'm glad it's now in Illustrator CS2 because it's pretty cool. Um, a few other features are, I think they're important and they're kind of hidden at first is some of the export options and we're going to take this and just go to export there's also two dialogues. This is the normal dialogue with the operating system, but there's also an Adobe dialogue you can use, which is slightly different, um, and you can alternate, which is nice. I'm going to actually save this as a flash, and you'll see some of the options that come up. A lot of options. We won't go into them uh, in too much detail here, but obviously a lot of features and a lot of ways to change uh, the export if you're going to SWF file. And we can just flick through those. Again, very handy. Um, SWF and Vector really go hand in hand. And now with uh, Macromedia and Adobe merging, we'll certainly see more of this exporting options and stuff develop. But it's great to have it in here now. Let me cancel out of here. Um, SVG is a vector format that is gaining popularity. It's actually been around for several years. and it hasn't really caught on like wildfire until now where it's used in like uh, mobile devices, phones, and I'm going to actually go to that, and it's not there. I think it's in the save as. There we go. I'm just going to save it, and again, you'll see some of the options here just to kind of take a peek different flavors of SVG. You can do more options, less options. Um, really great if you do that type of programming. This really makes it easy to export and do it to mobile devices. And I think in the next couple of years, you'll see a lot of that, a lot of Illustrator work done for mobile phones, mobile devices, and even devices we haven't even envisioned yet. Um, finally, I think you know when you export as a PDF, um, you know, you may have um, Acrobat, but let me click Save here, pull this up. Now in Illustrator, you actually have a lot of presets, and you really may not need to use Acrobat. Um, let me just pull this down. There's high-quality print. There's all different types. I mean, you really have a lot of functionality to work with it. So rather than run a separate program, um, a lot of the features are right in Illustrator. 
So again, lots of presets. This is small as file size. You can actually adjust this. And it's just great to have all this from right within the program. So your export options are really, really cool. So again, a lot of cool export options. And I love these little um, underlying links here. There they are. Very, they're almost cute. They're very cute. They just pop up like that. And especially the control palette. I mean, really handy to have all those features right up in front. And, uh, you know, lots of other great stuff. Um, I encourage everyone to dive in and check around because there's a lot of great features. But these are some of the things that uh, I think are, you know, pretty important and pretty cool and make the workflow really go great.